CLR. What has gone bef before us in, in, in 17 and 18 actually has no bearing on, on what's going to happen in 19. Um, uh, I suppose the girls have looked at it a long time ago, have put it to bed and hopefully learned from it. But it's a new setup, uh, new management in place and uh, new panels. So it's completely, you know, completely different from the last two years. So. And you mentioned about the new management. You have uh, Brian Dowling and Ray Challoner as part of the backroom team uh, this year. What do you think that they've brought um, different and maybe extra in, tw in 2019? Well, I suppose with Ray, it's his, his great knowledge of, of fitness and um, how the girls can apply themselves and their, their stretching and um, preparing for the game. Um, with Brian, I suppose I've said it all year, it's a calmness and a belief in themselves uh, that Brian has brought. Um, I suppose I was myself when I was playing or even on the line, I was a little bit hot under the collar and now I'm relaxed, I'm enjoying it, so are the girls. And I think that's really the one thing, not to talk the skill level that he has brought to them, um, the running off their shoulder, the work that he has done, the amount of um, hurling coaching that he has put into the girls, it's unbelievable. Well, I suppose the real emphasis is for the girls to go out and express themselves and to enjoy it. Uh, with regards to the seven goals against Wexford, with all due respect to Wexford, I think on the day they were just regrouping, they had a lot of trouble, so that would probably account for the seven goals that went in that day. But um, once we, we met Tipperary or the Limerick teams, you know, it was hard to get those goals. But certainly the girls are told to go out and enjoy, express themselves, if the score is on take, and if not, just work hard for one another, and that's what they're tending to do. Great challenge, as I mentioned, your part of the backroom team uh, this year. How have you found them working alongside Anne? Oh, it's been it's been uh, it's been it's been great, really. Um, really enjoyed the year so far. Uh, it was very new for me to, to come into this side of the setup, so uh, it's been a big challenge, of course. But um, but no, we're 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 really enjoying it now. Yeah. And do you think the uh, girls are enjoying a new lease of life, and um, with the um, difference of personnel in the backroom team this year? Um, I, 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 to be honest, I, I, I suppose um, I, I don't know. Uh, I mean, they seem we seem to to to, uh, to get on very well with with all the players, and it's all going very well. Um, in relation to training, um, you know, we just try to make it as fun as, as we can and varied, and, uh, and I think the players really buy into that, you know. And from listening to um, interviews all along throughout the uh, championship and even at the open evening, a few of the girls were speaking, there's great camaraderie and spirit within the group, and a number of these girls have been playing together for a while, so that helps build up team spirit. Oh, I mean, the team spirit is fantastic, and that was something that, we, that, that was very noticeable very early when we came in. Uh, myself and Brian have said it all year uh, that they're, 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 they're a real team and they're a really together bunch and, uh, and they back each other all the way, you know, they're, they're a great bunch.